Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the editing studio here in Junkyard Digs headquarters slash my apartment. You'll notice behind me is a uh, screen with all the files pulled up for today's video. And what I notice on there that you don't is that there's a lot of those missing. <laughs> uh, yay, one of our biggest fears as a YouTuber is losing content, and I lost probably 10 files. And not just any 10 files, but in fact the first 10 files of today's video. So, since all these files are missing, I'm going to improvise and tell you the beginning of the story right here. I know it sucks. But I'll have pictures. Yeah, I got those. Check that out. So, as you can see, 1973 Firebird. This is actually one of my dream cars, and it came up for sale in Oklahoma. And I drove down and picked it up. In the yard were some other vehicles, such as this one. That one. This GTO. Pretty sweet. Uh, the dude was in the literally like the most middle of nowhere I've ever been. It was like old abandoned roads and stuff, but we got this car out of there, we headed home, and we started working on it. Like I said, I lost all that footage. But what I do have is where we're going to start right now, which is the first time we got this car running in a number of years. One thing though before we do start, it is finally spring in Iowa. Look at that green. There's green stuff about damn time. We had a hell of a winter. Now that it's finally warm out, I can get you the content I want to make which is revivals. Legit pulling stuff out of the woods revivals. That's what I love. And that's what I love to make and that's what you guys love to watch. So worry not, we've got a couple more in the shop videos and then we're going back to revivals. We've got some epic shit planned for this summer. That is all I'm gonna say. So without further ado, I've said way too many things. This video is probably gonna be way too long now. So I'm gonna do a bunch of clicking and stuff over here and you know, make this video, which I haven't done yet. So let's begin. Dig this pig out. Yep. Oh, she's rough. She is dirty in here. Oh, there she goes. Oh, shit. I said four speed BM shifter. Some goofy ass. Come on! Oh. Looks like a brake short. It's got a 350 Chevy, someone put gauges in it. That's nice. It's gonna be a big project. It's gonna be a really big project. Like, there's stuff flopping around and loose. With minimal blood and maximum hatred for Iowa snow, this apparently extremely hard to move beast is finally in the garage at home where it belongs after a nine hour trip. She needs a roof. She needs a winch. Oh, okay, well. This thing is rough. It's arguably as rough, if not worse, than that 68 Le Mans I bought. Except for the fact that this one potentially runs. Which I'm going to go to bed and we will find out tomorrow. Which we'll cut to now. Day two. Lucas here. Let's see his evaluation. First eyes on the Firebird. The rock bird. <laughs> the rock bird. It, yeah. Well. It's not as bad as a rock sting. From the, from At least it's not like that car in the salvage yard that they covered the whole thing in Bondo. No, oh, that, that Vic? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, just got so many diseases. <laughs> you have all the AIDS now. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Like I said, it oozes in and out of gear. Dude, check that out. Melty. They're there, they're just not very crisp. Do you think that's linkages or what? I would assume from the era it's a linkage transmission. Looks like I'm gonna have some wiring fun. Yeah, it got. It it's got, like at one point someone good owned this car, it and they put these here. gauges in, and they put the 350 in pretty decently. <laughs> I don't know why you said that. Like I got rain in here. Oh yeah, from that. <laughs> and then they sold it to some subpar individuals, and they did things to it and painted everything. Yeah, so I'm gonna go grab a shot back. If someone wants to start on the bolts for the hood. You got a hazmat suit? Yeah, I'm gonna grab my hazmat suit and we're gonna start cleaning this thing out. It's free. All good sound. Six hundred dollars auto load. There should be some metal to it on the inside. There she is, our small block 350 has finally been unveiled and I can see the fun starts already. <laughs> oh God. Um, what is this? What is everything? Hey, it's an AC car. <laughs> what did I buy? <laughs> I don't know. This thing better run. Oh, that'll make me feel a lot better. There's no windshield channel left to put this back in. Nice. Just put a little Bondo over that and it'll be good to go. She'll run. Okay, no, well. No continuity. We to used to ground. have a ground. I'm not sure what happened there. Where did it go? All right, so I crawled under the car and got a look at our ground cable and it had definitely seen better days. So I'm just gonna bypass this, that, that, that way. That is, that and we're gonna use close. this nice cracked corroded ground wire from, I believe the F-250. So we're just gonna put this over here somewhere. Okay, seeing that the thermostat uh, wire connector was also spray painted, orange i'm gonna redact my statement and say that there's no way someone went through this engine at all he's gonna redact his statement i don't know what that means but i assume that's a retract <laughs> i'm going to retract my <laughs> you got rust on your teeth <laughs> do i <laughs> how <laughs> you really did <laughs> uh, what, what have i done <laughs> okay with that Terminals are on. Let's try this again. Do we have dash lights? Yes, I have three pod lights. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, let me get out of the way in front of it. First crank and wait, is it put in neutral? Yes. Yeah. We First hope. crank and who knows how long. Hey, the fuel pump works. Does it? Yeah. That cranks. That cranks good. Oh God, there's fuel everywhere. Yeah. Ooh, yum. All right, so we know we have oil. We know it cranks. Uh, we're gonna catch all that fuel in that jug. What do you say? Yeah, might as well see what she does. Give her a spritz. Didn't check anything with a multimeter to see if we even have power. I guess this is the fast way to find out. Yep. For America. It's parked. I mean, it'll run, probably. If it's, did you say it? Did you say it? Did I hear it? Oh, oh no. That she'll was, run? That was, she'll run? Oh. She'll run. I try not to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. You want to 
Okay, we're doing One this. One more. This makes me feel this. better about the price I paid. Happy days. <laughs> <laughs> Can you reach the throttle without uh, reaching around and blowing your hand up? Uh, as long as the car doesn't take off. And or it backfires. Oh, that'll be good. This will be fun. Here we go. <laughs> cylinders out. So. You're, you're losing the belt. <laughs> oh, come There's check this out, on Jesse. Fire. <laughs> you don't need belts. <laughs> the belts just started filleting. Oh! Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Look at it. You can <laughs> peel the belt off. You guys want a belt? You can win it. Subscribe, or comment in the comments your favorite belt flavor. And this <laughs> can be yours. <laughs> Here, get back in there and put a smile on your face. The problem is that huge intakes makes it really hard to start, and I don't want to die. Okay, here we go. timing's right. No, I don't think so either. What's up? <laughs> you know what's good about this? Is this time we got that 60 frames per second, so right now we can go to a nice slow motion of Luke exploding. Extra ugly face, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna rip this carburetor off, put a different carburetor on. I've got a few out in the shed, and then we'll carry on with life yeah. and horsepower. So we got the carb off. I have no idea what the internal condition of the thing is, if our accelerator pump is toast, but it looks pretty pretty clean and it was like some some uh, remanufactured or rebuilt unit and you know it, it does look pretty good so it makes me think that it ran in recent times but anyway just taking a look at all the settings when we first pulled it off transfer slots are extremely exposed check out the idle mix screws they're completely not even or even even close to being so um, so I guess needless to say we, we can do pretty good here basically I'm gonna set the transfer slots to a square we'll get our mix screws a turn and a half uh, we might start two turns out with that intake being the way it is and then we'll uh, just adjust our timing around um, to see if we can get to fire and idle where it wants to idle so anyway. you might be wondering Kevin if you have all these nice looking cars sitting next to you why don't you just do that? Um, I'm a long ways from any parts store. <laughs> you live so. in the middle of nowhere, so we have no gaskets. So we're just trying to, just for the sake of firing it up and see how it runs, see if we can shift it into gear or anything. It's We'll just use what we have for now. Yeah, we're just gonna use, because that gasket is imprinted to the bottom of that. So it should still seal okay. Not what we suggest doing if no. you have the ability to get a new gasket, get a new gasket. And yeah, we're not going to leave it like this. This is just to yeah, fire it no, up and see what it, we have. This will not have a quadrajet on it at all. No way. No. Nah. You're, you're going to hurt its feelings. Oh. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go get some water, fill up this radiator, check our other fluids. Luke's going to go ahead and set the initial settings on there, and then we will slap that on there. And if you're wondering, hey, how do exactly, Luke, how exactly do I, you know, set my ye old initial settings? Guess what? There's a button right here. Hit it. Yeah, right there. Look at that. See that? Hit that button. Go learn yourself something. Make yourself better. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not gonna give away all my secrets. No, yeah, no, 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 not no. <laughs> not here today at least. Nah. But if you guys want to learn, click here, Thunderhead289, go subscribe to him. Better yourself, better the world, make better cars, wreck less shit. You know, the usual. Thunderhead289. Alright, our carb is rebuilt as it needs to be. We tested our needle and seat, it works. We're gonna go ahead and put that on now. Yeah. Yeah, so just hooking the fuel line up before we went through all the effort to throw it back on the engine there. Get our fuel pump on. We're not bringing uh, fuel up out of the float vents, so yeah, time to throw it on. Yep. Maybe we'll have actually a functional carburetor now. I think we will. Okay, so time has passed. The Quadrajet is back on. Uh, Luke's got all of our initial settings set to where he wants them. At least something good to start from with our choke locked out so we're not fighting that. Yeah, yep, that guy's, that's not going anywhere. Uh, we have 
our electronic fuel pump set up here and we are going to for the first time in forever prime the carburetor and uh kevin that wired up backwards <laughs> you have it you and have, have it pulled <laughs> backwards <laughs> damn it, i'm so proud of this yep there it is flow to the bottle god dang it I'm going to verify our firing order because this is a mystery motor to us and all too many times in the past that has screwed us over. <laughs> Fired off so I'm a little bit encouraged but... Well actually I should know the small block Chevy firing order, everyone does, it's 18436572 but I just want to verify where the 1 is on the distributor. Interesting, I think you're going to have to track them because whatever they wrote on the cap isn't right. Yeah, this, Yay. Is all, this is all sorts of fun. <laughs> what? Is that even an American number? Wait, are all numbers the same? <laughs> one time, is one like... time on deployment, one of my buddies was trying to say, do you have any American money? And he said, do you have any human money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Here, which one is number in? What? Don't look at that. Dude, these are so screwed up. Oh my god. <laughs> There's... All right, let's just take a break and completely redo these wires. All right, so we got that mess of the wires made in random spots all sorted out. We're gonna hit the key and see if we got it right this time. Ready? Yeah. if you turn the fuel pump on. I didn't get it on in time. about that. We have uh, 45 pounds of pressure. You want to go again? smoky out the back. Like blue? Yeah, a bit of blue, a bit of black. There's a lot of blow button there. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was hitting me right in the face. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Is it there was pretty significant blow by? Yeah, like right. So, I won't feel bad putting a Pontiac motor in this right away? No, but I mean, that doesn't mean you can't have some fun with this beforehand. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's get this thing dialed in a little yeah. closer and then... I don't think it was ever rebuilt. I think someone shot it with some paint. It's definitely, it sounded like a stock cam back there. It seems pretty stock. Yeah. And then threw an intake on it and called it a day. We took our PCV valve off because we noticed, wow, this looks old and janky. And sure enough, if you suck on it. <laughs> I, know. I know you don't know what that, what's actually happening here, but that <laughs> PCV valve is shot. So that fixed a huge vacuum leak that we had at the base of the carb. Uh, we're going to keep playing with it and see if we can get this up and idle. 
Yeah, and it, I think the next step, it's almost like it runs fine, it runs fine, and it gets a little temp under it, and it starts, like, you can, you can hear it firing the cylinder out the exhaust, and, you know, getting a reading on the timing, everything looks good. We checked our firing order again, it looks good. You know, I'm wondering if we have a bad valve adjustment, and once it warms up, our exhaust valves are hanging open. So I think pop a valve cover, I guess, or pop both of them, and just check the preload on everything, because... I think all Chevy 350s, Kevin, are uh, um, stud rockers, aren't they? So uh, there, you have to set them. Uh, I know it's been it's been a while uh, for me too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we have our valve covers off, and things are looking great. <laughs> They're all loose. I think I think we'll have to pull a rocker off and check and see if you know if it's a solid lifter. But if it's a solid lifter, I could see it running open. But if it's a hydraulic lifter down in there. Um, they should have about at least 20 thousandths um, of preload. So obviously these are nowhere close. And that would just chatter like no tomorrow and you're just losing losing lift. But yeah, I'm not sure. Some of those are pretty loose. Some of them are loose on the other side. It's probably a flat tap at cam 350. So could have wiped cam lobes, who knows, you know? So it's really, it's really just one of those things. Yeah, we definitely need to pull one, get a, a bore scope down in there and see what it is before we do something dumb. But all right, well, it guess. sounds it seems stock, but I'd hate to guessing just never works out too good. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. I happen to have a bore scope right here. Look at that. Oh, is it a boy? It's got an internal cup in it. That's, that's a hydraulic. A, that's definitely a hydraulic. What else we got in here? Heat. There's a lot of heat in there. <laughs> Yeah, it's a hydraulic, so well, the valve train probably isn't adjusted right, or it's got a bunch of wiped cam lows, which I doubt because it has stock valve springs, and their stock valve springs are pretty darn light. So as long as it had oil in it, it probably didn't wipe a cam lobe. And it's almost every cylinder too, so. It's, yeah, I mean, chances are some are too loose, some are too tight, who knows. All right, so I'm going to go through these and set some preload, play around with some more things, see if I can find anything else wrong. Don't look at that. That's really <laughs> weird looking. <laughs> and then I will take this out in the yard and do some donuts. For now, Luke's going to head home. He's got some, some family functions to attend. Happy but, New Year's Eve. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for your help today, sir. This was a good old time. I feel a little better about the car. Yeah. yeah it kind of runs, but it's probably still getting replaced. All right, well, Luke's going to head home now. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to his channel, and I will carry on the rest of this until we get this sucker running. Well, not really peace, because, you know, the video. What are you doing? I'm looking in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shoot>. Go home. <laughs> All right, make sure you guys go subscribe to Thunderhead289 if you want to learn a lot of stuff, like what's inside your ear, you know? <sighs> yeah, no, not that. Carb, carb tuning, adjusting your valve train, building engines, uh, just whatever else I do a lot of a lot of boring technical stuff but oh this is one of those weird stuff wait hang oh, on it only does it with i think the frame rate right. goes up if you turn oh, oh. <laughs> we we okay. broke the, the physics jesus some of these are nice and tight some of these are really loose so i'm going to go ahead and run one spring down all the way so that I know the other one's completely free and then I'm going to go ahead and set the amount of preload that we're supposed to have for a small block therapy with hydraulic lifters which is about half a turn. So I'm going to run it in until I can't spin this anymore until I feel the slightest resistance on the push rod and then run a half a turn and we'll see if that helps. All right right there. So I'm going to go until I can't turn it anymore so I feel just starting to resist. Just right about, right about there. And then a half a turn. That's our preload. I'm gonna carry that through for the rest of the cylinders. We'll fire it back up when it's together. All right, so, ugh, there's the valves. <laughs> Let's see if this makes a difference. Go ahead, Jay, hit the primer. Go ahead, try it again. Feel? 
Oh yeah. Holy hell, that is violent. Yeah, hit it again. see a thing <laughs> wow all right playing with the timing again try to get this sucker dialed in let's just hook that up hit it That's full throttle without a pop. So <laughs> that's better than we've done yet. You may notice all the smoke coming off that side. That's from when we took the valve covers off. Sure enough, our gaskets did not seal. So I'm gonna call this good enough for now. And let's go rip some freaking donuts in the yard in the snow.
But to rip some donuts out there, that was badass. Yeah, so if you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Comment below what you think I should do with the Formula 400. Uh, I think I should do a lot of work on it. <laughs> it's definitely going to take some work. This has been a dream car of mine for the last four years. This is my favorite car in existence, and I now own one that's going to take a lot of work. There are plenty of noises when we're out there doing ripping some bird outs, some, some stuff hitting things. And it's okay. I can stick my arm through here now. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, make sure you like, subscribe to everyone that was in the video. Luke, me, myself, Luke. Uh, you don't have a. I don't have it. You don't have a YouTube channel. Nothing. Maybe someday. The bearded man. I will see you guys next time on Junkyard Digs. Peace.